Hi, how are you? Basically, I needed a new set of stairs for my rats. Um, the ones I had, sorry, Caramel's in the corner and he's doing this. It's really cute. But all I can see is his little mouth because <laughs> he's looking like this. <laughs> they make me laugh all the time. Hi, buddy. Sorry, I'm easily distracted by rats. Um, so I needed a new one because mine was made of cardboard. I recycled a moving box that had seen one too many moves and was done. And it was a great project for recycling purposes, but it really just had some issues like, even though I measured everything out, somehow some of the steps were wonky. It didn't quite have the depth on the steps that I wanted. It wasn't quite as wide as I wanted. Um, and the biggest problem was that it was not wipeable because of it being cardboard. Um, especially when my boys go through that six month um, hormone surge, they would mark everything and it would just get pee covered and that's just nasty. I wanted something that was gonna not have those issues. So I first stacked the containers in the manner I wanted and I grabbed some rather large zip ties. I think these are like six inches long and in total you'll need 11 if you make this exactly the way I did. Next I fastened these two together and I did so um I think I fastened them right in the middle yes the very middle of these two crates. These are from back to school time and I have had them for a while I don't remember what I originally bought them for but they've been sitting around for ages uh, the blue one actually has been personalized a bit. And then we flip it over and repeat on the other side. And you're going to want to zip tie it so that it lays flat against the crate. So one on each side in the middle, really tight so that the bins don't move. Next I added the other piece on top. And I zip tied this right through the middle as well. And it's through the handle of the top piece, also making sure it's flush. And then I repeated at the middle section and I cut that out because you could not see around me. So this is me tightening it, but it's in the same exact spot. See that? And it goes through the middle of the crate. Now we're going to do the bottom row and you're going to do the same thing, fastening the zip ties through the middle of the two crates on both sides, tightening it up really securely. And then we repeat on the opposite side. And then we're gonna add the third one while dropping things, of course. And then we're gonna do the same thing right in the middle, single zip tie, flip over, and do a single zip tie on this side. And you see those little notches on the top and bottom corners? That's what I'm using to make sure that they're really snug it holds the crates really close together. Now we're going to attach this larger section on top. This creates the stair step shape. And I kind of waffled over where to put the zip ties and then decided to put them through the handles same as before. Um, I considered putting them on the sides and then decided that was silly. So there's like an odd number of holes across the top and I fastened this through a hole on each side of the handle because I wanted to make sure it was extremely secure. So it was like the second and the fourth hole. You can see that on this one. And that's why there's an odd number of zip ties. If I had just fastened it through the centers, I could have eliminated two zip ties, but I just did not want to risk any of it slipping. And here I'm shaking it to show you how strong it is. Next, I'm using my flush cutter, I'm sorry, my tin snips, which are one of my favorite tools. One day I will do a video on my favorite tools for rat crafting um, and I'm just cutting all of the ends off. But zip ties can also be cut with scissors, wire cutters. Um, wire cutters probably would have been easier because I could have gotten in these little spaces easier but I had the flush cutters out so I just used those. Not flush cutters, tin snips. Why do I keep saying that? I don't even think I own a pair of flush cutters right now. So trimming off all the little ends and I also went back and made sure that like any sharp spots were trimmed up a little. 
And there it is, ta-da! So we need a Sharpie, and this is the plastic cutting mats from the dollar store. And I am gonna cover these holes up. My rats did not like walking on these because the holes have like a raised lip. So I tried it without anything for a couple of days and really racked my brain on what to use and decided to cover them. I happen to have two of these in the house still, so that's what I'm using. And I just have my regular scissors. These are also from the Dollar Tree, specifically for rat projects. And I trimmed one of these fit two of the stair tops. So then I cut them to size and apparently the first one I actually traced it on the raised edge instead of inside it, so I had to trim it a little bit. But the nice thing is this plastic trims super easily, so I just trimmed it until it fit the way I wanted it to. And it didn't take very long. And then I trimmed the little corners off just so that it would fit nicely since this one has some weird shaped corners. And then I got out my second one and I trimmed it, um, traced it onto the step so I would have three pieces total. They don't really climb the sides of the stairs, they only climb like normal stairs, so I didn't see any reason to cover those. So I'm just covering the flat walking surfaces. And then the next thing I did is marked around the zip ties that hold the staircase together. And since there's one in the middle and two on the bottom, I traced around those. And then I cut them out with my scissors. I learned that I seem to cut better in one direction than the other, so I did the first one kind of funny and then figured it out for the second one. So see, now they fit pretty well. I don't know why that one curls more than the other. I'm not really sure. Next, I'm marking the corners so that I know where to make holes for the zip ties. And you can make holes with hole punch or a sharp pencil, but I'm using a sewing awl, A-W-L, and a lighter. And I keep this lighter in my craft room because my kids don't know how to work it since it requires a little extra to get it to light. It's also a little low on lighter fluid, so it never lights the first time when I try, pretty much ever. So I'm just heating that up and then punching a hole in the plastic on all four corners. And then I just kind of rotate the awl in a circular motion to make the holes a little bigger than the pokey part. Um, this is a tapered tool because it's made to help like feed your fabric through the sewing machine when you need really fine fingers, I guess. I don't know. Um, I've literally never used it for that. And then I'm using my big pack of zip ties. I have had these since I got my first group of rats over three years ago now, I think. And it's a 500 pack from like Home Depot or Lowe's in all different sizes and colors and thicknesses. And it has just been wonderful. I have not even come close to using half of it, I don't think. So it was definitely worth paying a little more to get more zip ties. You could always buy them at the dollar store too though if you don't mind having just enough for the project. Those zip ties work just fine. I'm not sure why this one corner wanted to bubble up. I may take that zip tie out and redo it at some point, but for now the rats don't care so we'll just leave it. Um, then I rotated the box and worked on the opposite side, zipping it up. And I wanted these also to zip so that, um, I don't know how to explain this. Like the first time I zipped them so they were flush and then this time I did not. I did them like the opposite direction. And you'll see why that was a good thing in a little bit. Probably in just a few minutes here. Not even minutes, because this video is not extremely long. And then I do the last one. I do wish I had known where my silver or pink Sharpie was instead of blue because I feel like the blue ink is kind of ugly. It's a good thing the rats will not care, but it bothers me. So I continuing to zip tie the last piece on. And this one, I apparently didn't make that hole quite big enough and so I had to really force the zip tie through, but zip ties have like a tapered edge so it was still able to go through. I just had to push it a little bit harder. And then I started cutting these with scissors, but I realized that like if the scissors were too wide, so I cut like three of them, and then I realized I could just poke the zip ties into the holes so that the little tails were inside the crates. And I wish I had done this with the other ones too, because I love how clean it looks. There it is, all done.
If this video has been helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. That just helps YouTube know that you've seen my videos and it actually makes YouTube more likely to recommend them to other people, which helps my channel grow. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos about our rats, DIYs, information, or the miscellaneous mischief that we get up to. Bye.